Jack, who do you like in this one? We've got a stellar lineup with some of the best in the business. Well, Rampoldi's taken a win so far this year. She'll certainly be hard to beat. She sits on 100 points at this stage, and it's only Bree Masters who's been to the two events and taken the top points, and that is why she's leading on the overall point score. Tough to watch here for Bree Masters. There's a couple from Corumban, a couple from North Cronulla, three from Cronulla in the lineup, so they'll all work together. And the lone Karawa competitor, Bree Masters. Of course, the Rampoldis, they're coached by Bree Masters' dad. So a little connection there in the Australian final. The two Karumban girls closest to the screen there, Britt Brimer and Olivia Eaton. They'll work together. They'll push left here. One of the Rampoldi sisters there alongside our series leader, Bree Masters. Very focused from Olivia Eaton. Up and away. Super quick on the outsides of both there. Bree Masters, no problems at all. And it looks like Nairi Hadfield. Yes, it is. Nairi Hadfield will be the first to go home. She got into a push and shove with Alex Rampoldi. Well, Eaton ran across to the right-hand side, or her right-hand side, Josh. Interestingly, she may have been trying to take out teammate Brittany Brimer. Rampoldi was up extremely quick, as was Bree Masters. But the Corumban girls on the right-hand side, let's have a closer look at it. Olivia Eaton decides to go right. We're not going to see it here. And there's a battle from Cronulla and North Cronulla there. And Alex Rampoldi comes up with the beach flag. We see it a little bit closer here. Rampoldi just gets there, pulls the flag out, puts it up, and she's going through to the next round. And Stortenbecker there, she thought she was out for all money, but managed to find a flag. But it was at the expense of her teammate, Brittany Brimer, once again on the outside. There's only one way you can go when you're on the outside, but on the inside, you get crowded by the competitors around you. So let's have a look here. The Rampoldi sisters side by side. Corumban on the outside. Stortenbecker, the lone Cronulla competitor. Off and away, Brimer got off to an absolute flyer on the left-hand side. Oh, Eaton might be in trouble here. She comes across and just gets there ahead of Stortenbecker. So Cronulla and Cronulla early on. And Olivia Eaton, she looked done for pace by the new two North Cronulla girls, but she managed to find a way to stay alive. Great job there from Olivia Eaton. Well, the Rampoldi sisters, they absolutely flew across the sand, putting Eaton in a little bit of trouble. And she had to dart towards the middle of the field to make sure she guaranteed herself a flag. Great performance there. We see Eaton going to the right. Last minute dive and just sends Stoughton Becker home. So Cronulla and Cronulla out. Brittany Brimer was lightning. She was as close to false starting as you could possibly get without being before the gun. And you need that in beach flags. It's all about getting up and around. And so far, Bree Masters at the top of the screen, the Australian silver medalist, has been drama free. This is the Australian champion from North Cronulla, Alex Rampoldi, her sister Leah there as well. Olivia Eaton at the bottom, Bree Masters at the top. Off and away, very, very quick on the outsides as well. Oh, Olivia Eaton again, once again done for pace, but she managed to cut across in front of Alex Rampoldi. And I think Alex Rampoldi might have something in for Olivia Eaton, and it sent her club mate, Brittany Brimer, home just like that. Look at the turn, immediately goes to the right-hand side. Eaton's forced to cut back across, and there's a real rivalry brewing there, Jack. Well, we can see why she is the current Australian champion. Alex Rampoldi is extremely fast across the sand, but it's her turn that sets it all up and puts her out in front. And Olivia Eaton, very lucky to get in front of Brittany Brimer there. She's living dangerously. Olivia Eaton at the moment alongside Bree Masters. More than likely, those two will push left against, uh, push right against the two sisters, the two girls from North Cronulla. This is Leah Rampoldi. Alex is on her inside. They will push to the left and they'll all come together in the middle. And this is where it's going to get very, very interesting for one or two of these girls. Four down. Spot on the podium, off and away. Very even turn at the moment. Eaton Masters, they all come together, push and shove, and one of them will go home. Oh, the Rampoldi sisters have been forced to grab one flag. They're going to have a sprint up the beach, and I think they've given it to Leah. Yes, they have. Leah Rampoldi gets the flag, and just like that, she goes home. Alex Rampoldi, the Australian champion. Well, she's sent packing, has to concede defeat, and we see Olivia Eaton squeezed out there and was lucky enough to bounce off the front end of Alex Rampoldi and make sure she grabbed that flag. Olivia Eaton is a survivor. Bree Masters is in charge because she sent the other girls packing and she sent the Australian champion home. So Bree Masters would have to become the red hot favourite right now. Olivia Eaton on this side. Leah Rampoldi lucky to knock out her sister. She is stuck in the centre. 
And it'll be a tough task from here, but the Rampaldi sisters so quick on the turn, just lightning fast, and that's the key to their incredible run here in the Beach Flags competition. So Masters, Rampaldi, Eaton. Off and away, very even from the start. Oh, Rampaldi immediately goes to the front. Oh, and what about that? We thought Olivia Eaton was just going to cruise home, knock out Bree Masters, but no, she comes back across and tries to return the favour to Leah Rampaldi, and she sends her packing. Well, Olivia Eaton was up far. She had a clean, straight run through to the flag. Bree Masters had a little bit of biff there with Rampaldi, and it was Olivia Eaton that threw the spanner in the work. She decides to go left late causing Masters and Rampoldi to dive for the one flag. Well, what about that? We've got a runoff now. Masters and Rampoldi, I expected them to maybe go one and two, but now one of them's going to go home. The girls grab the flag at the same time, and, well, Bree Masters has got Olivia Eaton to thank for being back in the competition because she was out of it for all money. Well, there'll only be one left standing after this runoff, Josh. That's the way it works when it's woman on woman. There will only be one left standing, only one winner. Or not winner, only one will go through to the final against Olivia Eaton. That's it. You've got to get past another round after this one. Leah Rampaldi. Bree Masters off and away. Very quick. Both turn to the outside. They come together on the clash. And oh, maybe... Oh, we've got another one. So a double runoff. What about that? Who are they going to give it to? I don't know. They're going to go and do it again. Do it all again. The girls, they both turned to the outside, like you said. They were up very quickly, and this was a race that they throw a blanket over them. They're exactly the same the whole way down. They grab the flag together, hold it up together. These two are born to be together. I think Leah Rampoldi may have just, I don't know, I thought she was in front, but now I look at it again. Bree Masters has done an incredible job to come up with it. So we go back again, and Olivia Eaton is sitting there licking her lips because she knows these girls are now, whoever she faces, has done two extra runs in the space of five minutes. This is an un Unbelievable advantage for Olivia Eaton and an unbelievable situation for Leah Rampoldi and Bree Masters. Well, the fatigue is the major issue for these girls at the moment, Josh, with these extra runs. They're set. Off and away. Oh, very quick from Leah Rampaldi. I don't know if it was a false start there, but she'll definitely grab the flag. And it looks like Bree Masters will go home. Leah Rampaldi will finish in second place. But no, the judges have said something here. I think it definitely was a false start from Leah Rampaldi. She flew out of the gates. She got the flag. We'll take a look at the judges there. They're going to confirm. And I think we're going to send Leah Rampaldi home because the drama continues. Well, you've got a whistle for a reason, mate. So use it. Why didn't you pull her up right at the start? When someone false starts, they need to be pulled up from the beginning. That way the girls won't have to complete the run through. Well, Leah Rampaldi Poldi sent home just like that. They take it very, very well. And Bree Masters gets another lifeline. You can see there, she almost knew straight away. There was a little pause, the very quick start before Bree Masters had even moved. She paused for a second and then just flew down and grabbed the flag. And finally, we're down to two. Olivia Eaton in the green, Bree Masters in the yellow, the two best beach clubs in the world, Karawa and Karumban, will go head to head for the women's beach flags final. We got here eventually. Eventually, geez, it took some winds and turns on the roller coaster ride that is women's beach flags, but we're down to our final two. Well, our final two, Eaton versus Masters. The girls are set. Heads down. Heads down. Off and away. Masters was up very, very quick. Eaton, she's quick across the sand, but I think Bree Masters, she's got the arm out in front. She's got the flag. She's got the win. She had to do it the hard way. And she's the champion of round three. North Wollongong Beach, Bree Masters. What a performance. Talk us through the replay, Jack. Well, Bree Masters up quick, as was Olivia Eaton, but it's the body from Masters. She gets it out in front. She makes sure she squeezes Eaton to the side, uses the right elbow, and grabs it with the right arm, making sure she leaves Leaves nothing left to chance. All about getting that shoulder in front of your competitor, pushing the arm out there, and we see Eaton the bump. She wasn't able to recover from it despite sitting out two rounds. The final result, Bree Masters on top, Olivia Eaton in second place. Rampoldi, Rampoldi, Brimer, Stoughton, Becker, and Hadfield inside the top seven in one of the most interesting beach flags compositions you'll see in a very long time. Here we are at the finish of the Open Women's Beach Flag. Bree Masters, that is a back-to-back -back winner. Two rounds, well done. Thank you so much. You know, today was so tough. Everyone was just 
flagging so well. I was so tired. I just, the fit levels were not there. I've been sick the past week, so to keep going and have a runoff with a little young gun from North Cronulla was so tough. She was so fast and yeah, backing up was so hard today, but glad to take it out again. You just spoke about the physical demands. What about the mental demands as well? So you're coming down the final two of the big improver today, Olivia Eaton. What goes through a mind of a flagger going into the last run? You can't think too much about your opponent. You really just have to focus on yourself, what you have to do to just get off the line first and get in front. Um, I try not to overthink too much. I just let all my training come into play and whatever happens, happens and just try and stay 